Hi everyone! Welcome back to P and C Classic Movie Reviews. I'm Carson, and I'm Padmalaya. And today's movie is going to be The Scarlet Pimpernel, made in 1934. It starred Leslie Howard as Sir Percy, or the Scarlet Pimpernel, Merle Oberon as his wife Marguerite, and Raymond Massey as the bad guy Chopin. It is directed by Harold Young and produced by Alexander Korda. It takes place during the year 1792, and it's during the heart of the French Revolution. The plot is that Sir Percy disguises himself as the Pimpernel in order to save the French aristocrats from the guillotine. At home, however, he pretends to be a fashion-focused fop who's always talking about tying his cravat and other things of the sort in order to protect his secret identity. Yes. And there are also a couple of subplots. One involves the relationship between Sir Percy and his wife, Marguerite, and how although they love each other very much, they both erroneously believe that the other does not care about what's going on and are both feeling very frustrated and unhappy in that belief. And the other subplot is about Marguerite's brother gets kidnapped by Chauvelin and Chauvelin tries to bribe, or I should say blackmail, Marguerite. And then what happens with that? Definitely important parts of the story as well. Yes. What we liked about this movie in particular was the acting. All three of the major stars, Leslie Howard, Merle Oberon, and Raymond Massey, were really excellent in their parts. But I think Leslie Howard's performance is what takes the movie over the top and makes it amazing. His ability to switch between the foppish Percy and the brave and daring Pimpernel, just like that, is really incredible to watch. Yeah, I think that's actually my very favorite yeah. part of the movie, the scenes where he makes that switch on a dime. Uh, that in itself, I think, makes the movie worth watching. Yeah. Another thing that we liked about this movie is the costumes. They're really beautiful costumes of the aristocrats uh, that are silk and lace and um, you know just fancy fabric and luxurious settings and fancy hair. <laughs> the, you know, hair um, styles and wigs, mm -hmm. and that's very interesting to see and also contrasted with the, co the costumes of the peasants who are just in rags, and they do a great job with that contrast. So that's wonderful. And then also one of my other favorite aspects of a great movie, which is transformation of the main characters. And in this movie, Sir Percy and Marguerite both transform in some really wonderful ways. Of course, I can't tell you more. You have to watch it and find out. So our fun facts for this movie are... <laughs> the first one is that one of the minor characters in the movie is played by an actor named Nigel Bruce who later went on to become famous for playing Watson in the Sherlock Holmes movie series, which starred Basil Rathbone. So it's fun to see him in a role before that time. Yes, and in this movie, he plays a character called the Prince of Wales, who was just a minor character, but it's fun to see him. And then as our second little fun fact, the role of the Scarlet Pimpernel was originally offered to Charles Lawton. And if you know Charles Lawton, you may be thinking, what? But the reason was that Alexander Corda, the producer, had just had the biggest hit of his life, the private life of King Henry VIII with Lawton and Merle Oberon. So he wanted to replicate that success. However, people who had read the original book uh, were not happy, to say the least. They thought he wasn't suave enough, dashing enough to play Sir Percy. So they decided to play Leslie Howard instead. 
which was a great decision. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would have worked at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so next is our ratings. We both actually give this the same rating, which is a 9.5. Yes. The reason is that the acting is excellent. Everything we've talked about the, is excellent. The only knock on the movie is that the cinematography is, it's not exceptional. It's very good, but it's not anything to write home about. Um, there are a couple of shots I really like. Um, there's one where Marguerite is looking up at a particular painting, which I think is very good within the context of the movie. But other than that, nothing special. Yeah, but also in terms of what gives it its value, the story itself is, is a very well-formed story and it's very well executed. Mm -hmm. So just that one little thing. Yeah. But we definitely recommend this movie and we have other movies on our channel, which you would also like. And we hope you check those out. Yes, and please subscribe if you liked our content. We appreciate it a lot. Yeah, supporting our channel would help us and we'll look forward to making more movies. Our next two are gonna be part of this series, which is our Swashbuckler series. And next is Robin Hood, my favorite movie of all time. And then after that is going to be one of, both of our favorites, I think. The Mark of Zorro. Zorro. <laughs> so good things to watch that we've already made and fun things coming up. So thank you for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.